All right, welcome back. You want to you stick around for the draft portion? Yeah, sure. All right. So let's welcome back to another Exelon draft on Magic Online. What does this guy even do? Three mana for a 1-1, one, one, discard a card he explores. Three mana is a lot for a 1-1. One, one. Not only is three mana a lot for a 1-1, one, one, discarding a card just to explore, so maybe you hit a land, maybe you get a 1-1 one, one counter. Yeah, I'm not. Not, not really great. Not great. This guy's pretty good. Strength yeah. of the pack is also pretty good. I think we're going to go with this and try to be a little more aggressive. How do you feel about that? Feels good. All right, well, you know. No, no. Good. No. Oh, it's Jamie. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I know Jamie from Twitter, actually. That's funny. Um, I, I can't even tell you how many induced amnesias I've seen in... Um, in limited in drafts maybe you're just having amnesia oh. but i remembered it but i re re you think you did but really you've only seen a couple so here, you could have actually played off me saying i can't tell you how many i've seen and you could have been like is that because of your amnesia yeah but you didn't so you suck i'm gonna take this charging tuscadon because literally everyone yelled at me about this charging tuscadon and how good it is so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna take this guy Trample double strike four 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 five seems good. Oof, we did it. Let me, Lafoe. Let me check this out. Oh, we found it. This looks pretty sweet. I'm a fan of this. Oh, I'm a big fan of this. You got an Ashiok in here. All right, I'll keep this up and I'll uh, I'll give it a look over. Oh, I think we take this water knot right. Hexy blazed. We did not two one. Unfortunately, it is unfortunate. Sad times. We did one, two, so there's that. What'd you say to me? I don't like Reckless Rage if we're not specifically dinosaurs. Like, being able to kill your own guy is just worse than... You could just take that horn crest. You think this is better than Water Knot? Probably not. Okay, let me take the water knot then. You stupid Mitch. Another water knot, you say? So many water knots. Okay. Look at this creepy bird. Squack. Yeah, I'm just take water knot. Squack. Look, now we can deal with all the galtas that we're gonna face. <laughs> I just want to take green cards. Like, I just want to take hunt the week here. Stop taking green cards, man. Why is it that even in, Q in Cube and even in, Rick in Rick's draft, I just want to take the green-blue cards? It might be the best card to give though. I think it is the best card here. Shake the Foundations could be good, though. Yeah, that's pretty good. But here's the problem. A lot of the blue, like the pirate cards, are, are like two ones. And I think we're more blue than, than red. Right now, maybe. Maybe you are. Actually, it might just be rapid. Firebrand. This is the I hate this guy. This card's terrible. Wow. Rude. I thought it was a little dumpling. Oh, wow. Ooh. Did you hear how excited I was? I, yeah. I gave it an... Ooh, wow. <laughs> ooh, ooh, wow. Ooh. Man, somebody clip that and make it a GIF. Oh, don't, don't do that. <laughs> it's already happened. It's too late. It's, oh my god. Oh my god, look at Zaxor, dude. Oh god. It's so long. It's a late Swift Warden. I'm gonna take this Soul of the Rapids. Red, blue, something different. The greatest war was never ending until time itself is bending. Merfolks fighting in numbers so large, led by an angry fish lady named Marge. But despite overwhelming armies of fish, there was one thing that saw them as the main dish. The biggest dino there ever was looked for a snack, found Frank's merfolk, yep, the whole pack. Gobbled them up as Mike eating candy. Bended Frank over and called him Sandy, but Frank had a plan to lead. But when Gelta showed up, he just conceded. <laughs> wow. That's quite the tongue twister. I'm a fan. I am a fan. Mm, let's take old Nadia, I guess. Mm. 
You okay? Mm-mm. You're not okay. You think he'll ever be okay? Never. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. And take the six six. I'm not gonna play it. He might. He could be red green still. You never know. Really? Yeah. Why are you like this? Why are you the way that you are? Why is this taking so long? We're on like pick nine, ten, something. Oh, we gotta shout not him every time. <laughs> every time we do it. Yeah, alright, that's pretty good. We can be all like ha, got him. You know, but with not instead. You don't use that meme enough, man. I don't think I use any of the memes enough. I always want to, I always forget. Uh yeah, I'll take some secrets. Got, got that heavy blue. I don't know if we'd be red. So again, we'd be blue-green if, if that was the case. Uh, sure. I have also enjoyed Secrets. I think it's... I, I was going to say something super obvious, but... Um, it, it goes from like average to really good once you have the City's Blessing. Anything good? Oh, another tomb robber. How nice. Wonderful. Wonderful. Not great. And the uncommon you want when you're playing vampires. Yeah. And the wrong colored dinosaur. So literally two good uncommons that are in the exact colors that we are. That's cool. That's nice. And impale. That's also really good. I guess it's just spire winder here. I guess is right. I'm not thrilled about it, but... Oh, Hornswoggle. Oh, Ravenous Chupacabra. Maybe we're just black. <laughs> Card's really good. Too bad you passed the other four mana rules. Yeah, I could have had Impaled Chupacabra. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Chupacabra here, actually. because pretty strong. I don't think there's anything better than this. I think Water Knot's a good, but I don't want a third. You don't really have to be red, either. I don't have to be anything. Hmm. Think about it. Look at this stupid looking dog. Also, if we get a recover, it's like a thousand times better with Ravenous Chupacabra. Look, we could have the combo. Oh, might just be worth it for that, actually. It's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth it for that. You still be black red. Why are we cutting all of our blue cards, which are very good? There's like one good card. There's literally, f like, five good blue cards that we have. Nah. Okay, I don't know what... Oh, my God. Double chups. <laughs> Back on the black train. <laughs> wow, we also like the Mabard. I guess. I think I just want the double Chupacabra, though. How many more can we get, I wonder? Oh, now there's a Mabard? Maybe we are just black-red. Yeah, okay. I'm Chup Boy. Oh, Chup Boy. Oh, now we got to recover, which gets Chup Recover back? Mm hmm. All right, well. Hmm. We definitely got some decisions to make here. Nah, eh, this guy's good. Solid. Wait, what's this guy? This guy's the. Uh, gets a double strike if you have the blessing. This is probably better. I like having the two drop. Sure. Here. 
There's so many blue cards. Okay, this card's not great. Everything else is very good, though. Just a bit of a blank here. Oh, I got real excited because I was like, this will help us cast our things. That nope. guy's fine. That guy is fine. Oh, another recover? I'd probably play two recovers with Double Chupacabra and Needle Tooth Raptor. Mm, yeah, fine. fine. I mean, I think we're going to have a lot of four drops. I guess less without these. Mutiny's, Mutiny's actually fine. Probably not playing the Relic. Sure. All right, so nothing great in blue here. So that's good. Whenever your creature control explores, put a 1-1 counter on this. That's not going to do anything. We have zero explore creatures. Yeah. I don't hate binding. This guy's good. Pyromancer's also okay. I think we want more cheap things, though. Like, we have like one three, one, like we have two cards that come down before turn three. Before turn four. Yeah, I'm gonna take this guy. Get choopy. Like, I think we have, like, three pirates, right? Like, I don't even understand why we'd take Cutlass there. Like, we have one, two. At the time, we had literally four pirates, which is not a lot. I do like a Sky March Blood Letter, but I also like two, three for two. This is the second Ixalan's Binding we're passing. Yeah. It's kind of ridiculous. There's also a pious interdiction in here. The white, the white removal we're uh, passing is pretty insane. I don't really feel like we need cannonade when we have double ravenous chupacabra, needle tooth raptor, foreigner, and shake the foundation. Our removal is pretty much on point. I'm pretty sure we just want creatures. Probably take the flyer. Yeah, I think the flyer is just really good. I don't hate that guy. You should. I have a lot of vampires. <laughs> you should hate him. I think we have one. We can deal one. Oh, we deal two, right? Yeah. Shut up. Destroy creature that was still damaged this turn? Hmm. He's fine. I think it's this guy. I think it's just a 2-2. Two -two. You also have some dinosaurs, so. Oh, Lannery Storm is pretty good, actually. That's actually great for us. Make some treasures. Some treasies. Some what? Treasies. Tre treasies? Yeah, treasies. <laughs> Sounds like you got a mouthful of marbles, man. Maybe I do. Oh, that would explain it. Yeah. I like the old double chupacabra double recover deck. That's a good one. And you got that combo. What's the combo? The uh, search for dino and raptor. Oh, kite sail freebooter is a good one. It's all right. It's good. It's probably the best pack in the pack. It's the best pack in the pack? <laughs> No, this looks worse when I sort it this way. Ugh. <laughs> I thought we were. I thought our curve was looking real good. Now I'm like, ugh. It's all right, still, it's fine. 
I mean, these are probably more five drops. More like seven drops. I think this is only one toughness creature, which is nice. This guy, I don't even like this guy. This card is actually probably great for our deck. How many pirates do we have? Probably not many. We're probably right in the middle of everything. It's a decent amount. Eight isn't bad. I don't think you're ever going to have an artifact. Well, two drop pirate is... I don't think you're ever going to have an artifact. Wow. wow. Get wrecked. Wow. Yeah, this guy's fine. We can also put in this canal monitor. Just a 5-3. Just a 5-3 idiot. Man, you call him an idiot? So rude. I mean, look at him. He's a little bit of a cutie. He is a little bit of a cutie. Oh, Skullduggery is great. That's a good trick. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Wow, this is real, real bare bones here. All right, this is 23 cards. I'm not thrilled about a Grasping Scoundrel. I don't think we're getting any more playables. Still seems like a fine deck. <laughs> Am I excited to be playing a form of thought Leon and Arbiter? Um I think so. I think this deck looks good. That was a late headstrong brood. I might just we have 17 creatures though. We're not actually short on creatures. Is it better than anything? Is it better than Brazen Freebooter? I don't think so. It might be better than Grasping Scoundrel, but I do like having an early guy. Super aggro. How is Brute better than Corsair? Corsair's a 3-3 that can block. This guy shoots a thing. I think it's fine. I'd play it like that. I, I think so, too. I can see cutting the shake the foundation, maybe? Yeah, it's actually not good in your deck. For Brute. It's probably better for your opponent than it is for you. All right, let's do it. Let's see how it happens. All right, good luck. All right, buddy. Have a good night, pal. I can definitely see it being better with Cutlass, definitely, but... Uh... I think we'll be I think we'll be alright. I will play first. Eh, this hand is actually fine. If we can draw a turn to Mountain and then no other lands, I think we'll be good. <laughs> Playing just mono enters the battlefield effects here. That's not a Mountain. Nope, not you. Uh, we don't actually need enough Dinos for Forerunner as long as we have the Needle Nose guy. Needle Point Raptor, whatever his name is. Hmm. I don't 
Get in there for three, I guess. Oh, we have two Chupa friends. <laughs> this is the old double Chupa Copper deck. That's not a dinosaur. Pretty sure you just block here if they attack. We have double recover, so having a guy in a graveyard is probably great for us. Just to confirm, mana is the least fun part of magic. Sure. How about second Chupacabra? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, this this hand is gas. All right. If we can hit a two drop, we're in great shape. Watch, we'll never hit a second never hit a second black. That's actually a good draw because it turns on our Dead Eye Tormentor, so. Now it does not. Why life so hard? Yeah, everyone's like, I would have stuck around to see opponent's deck. Like, my time is more valuable than that. I could care less. It's it's midnight. Like, I don't care. I bet you got a bunch of stupid dinosaurs, and I bet you got a bunch of stupid removal spells. Excuse me.
Yeah, I'm not going to block either of these guys because then we just lose our forerunner. Mm hmm. Guess we take seven. Eight, right. Sure. Sure. We're going to take four here, but still have to wipe their board, so. Sonos, what's going on? Yeah, we figured out that it was Jamie. Yep. Black man at one time. Okay, well, that's not a black man. 3-3, three, three, sure. Going to six. I feel like a swamp is pretty good for us. That is correct. However, not looking. Not looking good. Sure. Okay. Yeah, Shake is good only with Raptor. Like, it's the one card in our deck that actually has an interaction with, with Shake. Otherwise, we've literally seen no cards that it actually kills, and it's actually a detriment against multiple frilled death spitters, which they have. So... I disagree when they have double double filled death spitter, it's actually pretty bad. I mean if we don't have this guy on board and we just draw shake, like it's just not very good. It also kills our own guy. I don't know. Apparently this is a difficult choice. Here comes Charging Monstrosity, right? Ready? Charging Monstrosity. 
Charge Monstrosaur. I don't know what that, I don't know what that dude's called. Considering we're at six, I'm pretty sure we just chump block here. And hope you don't have plus three, plus three, and trample. Yeah, I have no desire to play an amulet in a two-color deck. However, when you literally die with two chupacabras in hand because you can't draw a second black, it does kind of give me pause. Is this guy dead? Savage Stomp? Pounce? Reckless Rage, sure. I feel like Amulet is, like, you just don't need it. Like, we're in a, we're in a rare situation where we don't have double black. Like, it's not super common, and I'd rather not have to spend three mana. Is Amulet one and two to activate, or just one and one? Either way, it's either, I don't feel like spending two or three mana just to hit our third land drop. Because you're spending two turns to do it. You're spending in like turn one, turn two. All right, well, we got that guy off the board and now they can feel, feel free to play their bigger dudes that are scarier, I'm sure. Oh, nothing. Hmm. Here comes a black. Wow, another mountain. Okay, well, that's pretty good. I'm just attacking here. If they have a haste guy, like, it, it should only be a five. Wow. Guess we're fighting. This hand is great, but the second black mana would make it even greater. And this is only game two? Like, we still have a whole other game after this? Oh, God. This is unbelievable. If 
Forerunner is a May ability, yes. I mean, technically, we probably should have held this, I think, until it kills something, but, like, I'd like to think I can hit a black mana before it's relevant, but, I mean, we might just be dead now. Maybe that was just bad. Like, they're going to kill this, go to six. They go to five. They kill this, go to four. Interesting choice. I'm pretty sure OP, OP as an opponent doesn't know that we're 100% holding two Chupacabras. Like, that still doesn't make sense. Wow, okay, we did it. We still have one more recover in the deck. A little cutie. I guess we're just saving this other Chupacabra. Go to three. All right. Let's see what's in your hand at least. You can't make this up, right? Like, you can't make this sh shit up, right? Like, this is just... Yeah, and you hit a land, so now we're basically just dead. This is a May ability? Like, we literally have one turn to hit a three drop. Like a three mana creature. And then they can just pounce it so they don't have to worry about four of the dragon. So we just lost. I mean, we have recover into like ravenous chupacabra as our draw. The problem is that they have pounce as like one of their cards. So... The irony is so thick right now, dude. It's actually unbelievable. <sighs> oh, God. These are barely, these are barely, like, these are barely even drafts. Like, these these are mostly just, like, you guys are watching my misery increase. These are just misery uh, generating devices. Do I ever make it to NYC, out to NYC? I mean, not regularly. It's not something I do regularly. Um, I mean, if I had a reason to go, I'd go. Sand is actually terrible, but I'm not going to mulligan because it has the colors we want. And I've been so psychologically conditioned to be afraid of not getting lands or colored lands. I don't think league games have anything to do with uh, the quality of the draft, no. Saying you like rivals more than Ixalan is not saying much. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm not, I don't really feel like I have, to, I, I like, I don't care about preparing for people in the same pod. Like, I don't think that's super relevant. Like I have no idea what people opened four seats away from me. Right. So like, I mean, this guy might've been in my same pod. I don't actually know. It doesn't actually affect my draft. Agreed. Personal human time is so much more valuable. I, I agree with that in the sense that, like, it is way more valuable for me to be able to finish a draft in, like, an hour, an hour and a half than having to wait for every single person to finish. That I don't even care about the alternatives, which are, like... Oh, two little cuties. I just think that that like preparing for people in your pod or like hate drafting is over. I think it's just overrated. Yeah, see, this seems like a matchup where Shake is relevant. Agreed. I have no idea if I'm going to be going to Grand Prix Vegas yet. <laughs> Do you ever make it out to LA? What What is going on? No, I never make it out to these places regularly. I live in Florida right now, and I have no reason to regularly travel to any of these places. I don't actually know which one to get here. Oh my god, you guys are amazing. Um... Well, I guess we just threw this guy away because I actually, what if we, mm. can we wipe the board here to deal damage? Seems fine. 
if Galton were charging up for Miami, it'd probably be too late for me to leave Florida, to be honest with you. Uh, if you guys haven't been uh, looking for... If you guys haven't been seeing... My, oh, come on. Chupacabra. Or Recover. Or, or a Swamp. Sure. How many ways do I have to get rid of this guy? I mean, as far as non-damage-based ways, I think we have Chupacabra and two Recovers to get rid of it. Like, I'm trying to think of ways that we can get rid of it without actually having... Oh, that was a great draw. Without actually having to kill our own Charging Tusker. As I was saying, if you guys haven't seen constructed videos for me in a while, you do do yourself a favor and check uh, youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. I've been uploading everything there. So if you guys haven't been checking that out, be sure to do that and subscribe. Definitely helps me out a ton. Hey, look at that. Silver Falcon, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Soul Tide Brood. Really appreciate it. So... Yeah, I definitely don't think limited is the most skill intensive format. Yep. Figured as much. Iron Man MTG, always with jokes. Good times. Hmm. 
Oh, I also went 6-0 in the limited portion of that modern PT, so... Guess you're shit out of luck as far as things to make... to complain about there. Alright, one down. Let's bring in Chick Tonish and Steven C, thank you so much for the sub. Three months in a row. Welcome back. Hmm. Well, I had no idea. Like I, I feel like you troll me quite a bit and I wasn't sure. Like I, I it's hard to tell like when people are joking or like when they actually are just being jerks. So appreciate you saying so. Um definitely. No, I'm probably just going to cut Grasping Scoundrel. And we have 18 creatures, so. It also dies to the card we just brought in. I don't think any of our other cards do, which is pretty nice. I guess Fanatical Firebrand does, but I don't think we care about that. Hmm, that ain't bad. Let's take a peek. Wow. Actually nothing. Iron Man MCG, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Oop. All right. Well, our opponent is not doing... Uh, we are not PT testing. I am not qualified for this PT, so... One, two, three, four, five. We can just play Stormfleet Swashbuckler here. Some of my favorite movies of 2017? That's actually a good question. I don't even know off the top of my head. Get Out was great. 
I guess we're just gonna keep getting there for one. I don't know. I didn't actually see Florida Project. I tried to go with some friends, and they didn't really want to, and it was real sad for me. Yeah, we're just gonna go Tuscadon again here. Well, that is unfortunate. I guess we can just Pyromancer that guy and, and then one for one. So we still know all the cards in your hand, which is nice, but... I have a feeling you're going to get rid of our Stormfleet swashbuckler here. Or maybe we just kill this guy and not care about this guy? That seems bad, though. I mean, if we draw a Chupacabra, it's very good, right? I don't think we can actually keep this guy on board. Blade Runner was also very enjoyable. Uh, Lady Bird is in my queue of movies to see. Okay, well, there you go. I enjoyed I enjoyed Star Wars. I thought Star Wars was great. Um I think we should have actually played this first, dealt one to everything, shot this guy and then attack for four more, but I don't think it's going to make a difference here. I will say no. All right. Well, yeah, I enjoyed Star Wars. I thought it was fine. I mean... I had a good time. I think there were parts that were silly. I think there was some stuff that I probably wouldn't have done myself, but it didn't it didn't ruin the Star Wars experience for me. So. Uh, how do we deal with this dude? I don't think we care. So they have four cards in hand. We know four of the cards in hand. They didn't play Nest Robber, probably because we have Firebrand and Forerunner. So I'm going to assume they could have drawn Unfriendly Fire for this. Oh, they just all right. They just died. Well, that's pretty good. Oh. The casino planet was the most dubious part of the movie. I will agree with you. Planes? What in the earth? Oh, this is a different deck. <laughs> I was like, what just happened? Yeah, that's pretty good. Hmm. 
guy can't. Oh yeah, he can. I thought this guy could only attack f f with another with another dinosaur. Mountain and Phil Despot are sure. Mm, that's pretty good. I feel like I almost want to just do that, and then keep up Skullduggery. Yeah, let's see. Uh, my favorite Star Wars movie. It's a good question. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's Force Awakens. I liked Force Awakens a lot. I think I liked it more than most people did. And I think it's also burnout on the old ones. Like I think the the original trilogy really is great. Four, five, and six are great. But like, at a certain point, I'm like, I'm just tired of, of Empire being the best Star Wars movie. It could be the best, but that doesn't that doesn't make my favorite. I don't think. I don't think it's Return of the Jedi was my favorite for a long time, and I think it's it's less appreciated than a lot of the other movies for obvious reasons. But there's so many parts of it I like. Like Luke coming into his own as like this Jedi. I guess we play 3-3. Three, three. Actually, we'll just play 2-2 two, two here. The thing is, if we play 3-3, three, three, um, we get to play both of these next turn. I guess we can also play Knight. Well, we can't play both again, so we like... RW Pointer, three months in a row. Thank you so much, man. You are awesome. Welcome back. Yep, that guy's fine. Get rewarded, I guess. That's pretty okay. Oh, we can actually recover that guy now. I think we just have so many better creatures to recover, though. And we don't really have a need to do it this turn, so. That's pretty good. I think we actually just attack with this guy and then shoot their their guy. Just keep it on keep it on the dudes, the board the dude boards, board dudes. I don't know what I'm saying right now. All right. Well, let's start getting in there before that two-two becomes a, a a more a bigger bigger. Now this is pod racing. Yeah, Anakin. Anakin's a great character. Oh, something for six mana. Eh? All right, that guy's good. 
Chupacabra? No. No Bacabra. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. We're one mana shy of being able to recover the Stormfleet Pyromancer and shoot this guy. And also taking six in the process, which is not ideal. Suncrown Hunter is actually a great draw there. I think Rix is better than than IXA, but uh, I wouldn't say by a tremendous amount. Okay. I'm going to get him back pre-combat just because I want to be able to draw a Chupacabra here. We didn't do that. I think it's worth taking six here. Because they also take five and go to six. So, okay. Yep. Even if they have, like, Cannonade, we're still pretty good. We still have three, four, five, six power on board. This guy would die. All right. Well, where are, the, where are my Chupacabras at? I think we're fine. I can see bringing in a Cutthroat for a Scoundrel. Cutthroat seems fine. I don't think Cutthroat is great, but... I mean, you can say that Snoke did nothing for the series, but the same can be said of Darth Maul, right? Like, there's a bunch of Sith Lords that are just Sith Lords for the sake of being Sith Lords, and they don't actually do anything. You just need a Sith Lord. Like, at all times, you need a Sith Lord. You need one Master and one Apprentice, so... Well, this hand is great. So long as we can hit another Black Land. Hey, we didn't do it yet. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that cute? Swamp. Recover. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably just going to mutiny here. You deal the damage. You take the damage. I don't think we're actually... I think we're just going to try to block here. We might have actually wanted to do it the other way because this guy could be a 3-3, three, three, whereas this guy's always a 3-2. I think that might have been better. I just tried to kill the bigger dude. Yeah, well, 100% block here. God, it is still raining. It has been raining for, like, all day. My least favorite Star Wars character seems pretty easy, right? I'm going to say... Jar Jar Bonks. I actually just want Freebooter here. Our other combo is good, but we can wait. Because now we have five mana, so I can actually play this, then play the charging guy afterward. I see. Did they not crack their evolving wilds? Hey, Sabalba! That's is that Watu? <laughs> Little Annie. <laughs> yes. 
Uh... Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's a thing that we don't have a way to deal with. So we just... I guess we get utterly wrecked. I wonder how many of these drafts have come down to losing to literal rares. Just straight losing to rares. I think it's everyone. Like we in the last in the last draft we did, which you guys probably saw yesterday, we we lost to Galta. Galta. <laughs> uh first round, what did we lose to? We lost to Form of the Dragon because we was able to kill all of our things. And this one we're losing to Profane Procession. Because it's just not a card you can deal with in this format. I mean, I guess if we can if we can survive for 17 turns despite them literally stealing our best creatures. Why is it to be expected? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Sure. Can I get a... Wow. Dire Fleet Daredevil, which lets them cast Recover, which is pretty good. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. We can't beat this card. Like, it's un it's unbelievable. If we slam Raptor, then they just get to eat it, right? Like, what? That seems terrible. Of course, we're black-red, so we have literally no way to deal with a uh, a, a, a an enchantment. Pretty brutal. Yeah, the last thing I want is that they steal our raptor and then just replay it the next turn. Oh, come on. The worst part is that I kind of want to keep this hand just because I... I guess this is better. I don't even know. <clears throat> Putting that on the bottom. <laughs> Who cares? Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it.
I'm a pretty big fan of Gonti. How about three drop into land land? Can we do that? Well, I will take the land. I don't hate this aggression that we have going on here, so. Tuscadon seems good. This might be the most aggressive start that we are, we're capable of, so that's good. Another 3-2, another huh? Okay, this is actually a great start here. Tempted to shoot you and then just deal 6? Yeah, let's do that. Or we, or we just get to keep a guy on board and deal more damage. Let's do that, I guess. To me, I like a grown addiction that I can't turn off. Okay, so. Plus on you, minus on you. I feel like this is a pretty good hand. Mm hmm Are you dead? Mutiny? Skullduggery. Okay. That's actually pretty good. You're definitely blocking here, which is sad, but we get to fire if we get the pyromancer guy. I guess we're just playing Tuscadon here. Well, that is pretty stupid. Second chupacabra one time. Mountain. I guess we should have killed the Dire Fleet Daredevil when we had the chance. Now we had to use this ability. Yeah, this is just worse. Could put them to one, but that just doesn't do more than getting this 2-1 off the board, so... Now they have to deal with a 3-2, I guess. Not impossible. Oh, interesting. Well, that's not interesting at all. Oh, all right. <laughs> Got him. Sweet surprise about that thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it if you guys haven't done so on youtube be sure to smash those like and subscribe subscribe buttons definitely uh, appreciate that and i will see you guys next time